You're back with more Matt. Matt Patrick. KTRH News Time is 647. Joining me right now, the host of Fox News and Commentary and one of my all-time favorite buddies, Todd Starnes. Todd, welcome to Houston's Morning News. Matt, I have some breaking news to tell you. All right. I just got the the early copies of my new book that's coming out yeah. uh, February 7th, and yeah. of course, which you reviewed. Yes. They t- I, I'm, your name is like plastered over the back of my book, like with uh, with the comments you made. Are you? Oh, that is breaking news. We sure. just played the breaking news sounder here. This is a Fox News alert. <laughs> wow, that's a, yeah. well, well. Thank you for that. Was that uh, your publisher? Was that you? It that, was. No, it was the publisher. I mean, your name is bigger than mine. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? Well, then uh, I will say I have to buy a box or two of those books. We'll make that happen. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Well, I might not be able to because I'm a dummy, as you know. Uh, we, uh, let's see. First of all, before we get into the Newsweek thing real quick, the best debate I've ever watched last night. I loved it. Would you hug Juan Williams for me? Because I love the exchange between him and Gingrich. I thought it was awesome. That was, uh, the, look, the first time was since Reagan that uh, someone's been given a standing ovation during a debate. Awesome. Just incredible. So, And, and we're talking about that this morning. But this Newsweek, I don't know if a lot of people are talking about it. Cover a Newsweek. Uh, wondering why Obama's critics are so dumb. It's an article written by Andrew Sullivan, who in the article, Todd, says, look, I want you all to know that I'm an unabashed supporter of Barack Obama, have been since 07. At that point, uh, does he not lose all credibility, or is that the kind of article that it was supposed to be? No, it's interesting. And Andrew Sullivan is the uh, the writer who has an unusual interest in Sarah Palin's womb, uh, wondering you know, if, in fact, she really gave birth to, uh, to Trigg, uh, uh. her youngest child. But here's what I really want to know. I know that they're asking the question, you know, are Obama's critics, uh, why are they so dumb? My question is, why can't Newsweek turn a profit? (laughs) Because they're too dumb. This is a magazine that was sold on the auction block for like a dollar. But uh, but look, I, I think I, I think we should appreciate Newsweek and the New York Times and MSNBC and quite frankly CNN for helping helping us understand their narrative of the 2012 um, election, which is going to be all about race. Yeah, yeah, that, that is uh, absolutely correct. The Times saying that uh, Mitt Romney uh, is too white, and I encourage folks uh, just to take a look at that if you can. It is just amazing. Uh, what we're reading on some of these magazines. Uh, Todd, I thank you so much. I'm looking forward to looking to, to having the book in my hands and seeing your name and my name. That's very cool. You'll be a and KTRH. I can't. I, that's wonderful. So, you know, let me know and I'll uh, I'll do. send you a check and we'll buy a box. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, Todd. Thank, thank you very you, much. Todd Starnes, host of Fox News and commentary, joining us here this morning.